it's your girl Nunu the hair diva and I'm back with you with one of two videos this video here is going to be my December empties I wanted to get it done in December but family friends and holidays came about so I have decided to do it today um, I have this large bag here full of empties and um, me, baby girl, and my son, these are what we have completed. So without making this video, as what I'm not supposed to say long, we will go on ahead and get started. I have this um, retinol makeup cleansing wipe. You know I use these. You get them from the Dollar Tree. I've only finished up one, and I have one that I'm about to be finished with. But I do love them and I will continue to use them. This Shiseido uh, bag of cotton wipes. I'm in love. This was my first bag and I won't lie. I shared some of them with baby girl. So I'm only showing you this bag because I have gone through mine. And I have repurchased another bag that... Um, I haven't started to use but I will be using for the price it's expensive but like everyone says once you start to use these Shiseido pads you will not go back to your regular dollar uh, cotton pads or cotton rounds my assured cotton rounds get this from Dollar Tree as well I use these to take my nail polish off and that's the only thing that I use them for I have this absolute New York detox clarifying facial sheet mask now this is a mask that I've had for some time um, now that I have my facial steamer if you see my part two video, you know I have gotten more skincare implements to help me keep my skin as fresh and as new as I possibly can. While having that steamer, I decided to use my uh, facial max right after. And this one is detox and clarifying. I liked it, can't say that I loved it, but I do know that my skin felt soft it felt nourished and um, it didn't break me out so if I find more I will use them and I believe I got these like a pack of two to four at TJ Maxx now we're going to get into this bag in no particular order because it's a whole lot of stuff in here I have polished off my Dr. Bronner's 18 and 1 hemp uh, pure castle soap this is in the almond I use this on my body as well as to clean my uh, makeup brushes. It does not irritate the sensitive areas and I have repurchased a new bottle I believe in the rose scent. This right here is a nasty goopy Bath and Body Works uh, Mediterranean Lemon Hand Soap. I got this from Phone Jones here on the YT when she was selling boxes for a certain amount of money and she was moving and getting rid of some of her Bath and Body Works items. So I purchased this from her. My son loves these hand soaps. I mean, love them. So during the Bath and Body Works uh, semi-annual sale, I brought him two more. This amazing blow dry secret. This is one of those professional items that I use on my clients to blow dry their hair faster to keep as much heat off of their hair as possible. If you uh, have seen my uh, hair video, I will link most of these videos below if you haven't seen it and you would like to watch it. I am now using the Not Your Mother's blow dry spray it is much cheaper than this but this is really good and it's a professional item so you can't get it at Sally's the Aunt Jackie's quench leave-in moisturizing conditioner okay now I use these during the summertime for my natural hair uh, it keeps it curly keeps it soft and moisturized throughout the day however my son has the world's largest afro 
to me. And he has actually polished this off amongst another item that I will show you. So yeah, I am going to start buying these off of Amazon because I can get them for a great price in a pack of two, three, and sometimes six. So yeah, I, Jackie's is a product that I love and you will always see that at some point in the empties. The next of item that my son has polished off is another Aunt Jackie's item. This is not on my watch. It's an instant detangling and this is very good. You can use this even on children's hair. I believe any type of hair that tangles can definitely use this. It's not heavy. It's very lightweight. You can comb through it. And with my son's afro, because it's so big, <laughs> he uses this because it pulls his curls out and it helps him to pick his hair out every single day before school. So yeah, you will see that again in the empties. Um, another hair item that I love, this is the Kakui Oil by OGX. Looks like that. This is the anti-frizz hydrating oil. I like to use this on my hair after I have done all of my hair care regimens and my hair might need to be a little bit more shiny. Uh, usually on the second or third day is when I'm using this. It's very lightweight. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It gives me a beautiful shine. I buy it from Ulta so that I could get the points and I believe it's somewhere between $7.99 and $9.99 so yeah and I already have another bottle of it that I am working on an old school item that I <laughs> I haven't used it but I have used it on my granddaughter it is the luster uh, pink lotion y'all remember these yeah so I used the rest of this up on my granddaughter to just be done with the bottle. It does give you a nice high shine. It will pull your edges in a little bit in a sense of laying them down, but they won't stay down like an edge cream. Um, it is not an item that I want to continue to use because um, it says, well... It has protein, vitamins, and things like that in there. But I believe it does have parabens in there. And I don't want to try to use too much of that kind of stuff on my granddaughter's hair. Okay. The Julep Let's Rock Hand Cream. Oh my goodness. If I'm not even going to lie. I had this like three years. I had it. I gave it to my daughter, Bianca. She had it for at least a year, and then I took it back from her to go in ahead and finish it up. It started to get cold, so I've polished this off, um, kept it with me while I was at work, and it's a good hand cream, but nothing that I will be buy over. Okay, so you know I'm whitening my teeth, and I believe I have two of these here. These are the Crest White Strip in Classic Vivid. And that's what they look like. And pretty much I am whitening the teeth that I have left <laughs> so that they can stay as pretty as I can possibly keep them. I'm trying to do better with keeping up with my dental regimen. And these are working. The price for about 25 is like $45. Make sure you use coupons. These here, they don't um, slip and slide on your teeth. I really do enjoy these and I will continue to use them uh, for my dental hygiene. Some nail care. We got the No Lift Acrylic, uh, acrylic. <laughs> acrylic Nail Liquid. Now this here is just a one ounce. Um, I found that I could buy a larger size on Amazon. I'm not really specific on the type of nail acrylic liquid that I use, but I want to try to make sure that it's not going to be harmful to my environment as well as my nails. Right here I have the Magic in the Air uh, Pocket Hand Sanitizer. 
These are cute, but they're so hard to use up. I keep them on me and I have to remind myself that I do have hand sanitizer. Um, I have about four more in different scents and things like that, but this one is the magic of the air. I liked it, but I didn't like the fact that it had glitter in it. So if you make them Bath and Body Works, take the glitter out. All right, another hair care item. This is the Carol's Daughter Sacred Tear Anti-Break and Anti-Fridge Styling Cream. This was okay. It doesn't have any petroleum or parabens, no mineral oils, and no artificial color. Um, sorry, I'm in another room and I know my lighting is very bright. I will try to fix that in the editing. Um, I like this. I didn't love it, I liked it. It was kind of heavy for my hair type or texture and um it worked but it weighed my hair down so this is an item that i don't think i will repurchase again unless baby girl or somebody like that wants to use it all right we got it cosmetics confidence in an eye cream y'all this is some good behind eye cream i was about to say a bad word this is some good eye cream. I really enjoyed this. The only thing that I know I was doing wrong was I was wiping it around my entire eye and possibly getting it in the corners and that was a little bad. So when I woke up in the morning, my eyes were a little puffy. But once I started using it correctly, just on the skin under my eye, I like to use it over my brows and things like that, which by the chance are growing back. Um, this is an item that I will repurchase. So this eye cream and the Clinique uh, All About Eyes eye cream and the Garnier. Those are the three eye creams that I really enjoy that will be a consistent purchase. We have the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue. OMG, love it, love it, love it. This here I also buy at Ulta so that I can get the points for it. It's about $8.99. This one here is normal to combination skin. They normal to combination skin. It is the color blue. If you have dry skin, it is the color pink. Either one actually works for me. I do enjoy this. I like putting this on my face in the morning. Uh, before I do my makeup because it sinks into my skin really fast it allows me to do the rest of my makeup perfectly and I have already repurchased it and is using another one already another item from my son he is taking over this video <laughs> This is the White Rain 3-in-1 Men's Shampoo, Conditioner, and Body Wash. I'm not sure if he uses this as a shampoo. He may. I have to ask him. But these are the ones that we buy from like the Dollar General. They are a dollar. They lather up very nicely. They clean our bodies very nicely. This one smells so good. It's in the cool ocean wave. Yeah, I really like this one. He likes it too. And when I buy these, I usually buy like five for my daughter in the sense that she like and five for my son. So we have more of these and you will see them in the empties once again. I have polished off a Tree Hut a Shea Sugar Scrub. This is in Tropical Mango. And as you can see, it is gone. I truly, truly enjoy these. Um, I know Ulta has their brands, and I think it's about the same price. However, I like these a little more. I like the uh, feel of them, the smell of them. They have just the right amount of oil that keeps your body moist. And even though I do use these, I still will put... Um, lotion or body oil on my body afterwards but this works nicely and I have purchased two more <laughs> okay this right here is an old ColourPop lip gloss I know I've had this for two years I have used it if I bring it in close it's, it's gone like it looks full but you see how light it is down there that's because I have used it all I was 
trying to figure out look it's just that little bit on there I have tried to figure out how to move this down to try to see how much I use but like I said it's been two years um, it's time to go away I do like it but I probably won't be purchasing it anytime soon because I have other lipsticks that I am using Blistex Deep Renewal Lip Balm this lip balm gave me pure hell I had to say it, it gave me pure hell <laughs> as you can see it is definitely gone I even tried to scrape it I liked it in the beginning when I started to use this item however what ended up happening with it is as I would apply it my lips started to feel dry and I would apply it again and then they started feeling cracked so I don't know if this deep renewal it says anti-aging treatment mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> it, it didn't work for me so I won't be buying this I do have two other lip balms that I have purchased one of them is better than the other and I will let you know about that as I finish them up Two, we have three more items and then we're done. My Orally Matte Top Coat. Now y'all know Nunu be doing her nails all the time. I am going to start showing you more nail designs on this. It's the new year and I just figured let me upload videos that make me happy. If you watch them, I truly appreciate it. If you don't, it's okay. You may watch it later on. This Orally Top Matte Coat. It's a bit pricey, but it is one of the best top coats that I have found. And when you start to get low, you can thin this out and it still works wonderful. It gives you a nice deep matte top coat and not just a satin finish. All right, the last two items that I have here, I'm so, so, so happy to say that I have polished them off because now that means I can go in the head and start buying some new ones. I have polished off a Juicy Couture fragrance. This was the 3.5 ounce or something like that. And I believe this is just the regular Juicy Couture and I brought this in February 2016 and I finished it in December of 2017 mm, it smells so good when I go back to repurchase these I'm gonna to try to see if I can find them at Target or Marshalls at this larger size for a cheaper price before I you know go to Sephora or Ulta and pay full price for it unless I get five times the points the next item is another Juicy Couture fragrance and this one here is Juicy Couture Couture Lala this one oh my goodness whenever I wear this one to work Everybody always tell me, oh, you smell so good today, as if I don't smell good every day. But, you know, I, this is a scent that's just, it, it's all that in a bag of chips. I'm so corny. <laughs> so this one I brought in February 2015. And, you know, I like to mark my items so that I know how long I have had them. And, you know, if I would put them in a pan palette or, you know, empties kind of thing. But I'm so glad to have finished all of my Juicy Coutures. I only have one other fragrance that is a Bulgari fragrance. And I, I don't want to use that one up. But I think I'm going to go in the head and, you know, start working on that one and get that out of my collection as well. So that, you know, I can have some items to purchase in the fragrance department. Alright, so thank you everyone for sticking with me to the end of this video. Those are all of my December empties. I will be coming back with another video. It's going to be my first, um, what's the name of the video? <laughs> 52 week money challenge I have a new container a new way that I'm going to be saving I'm just going to make it easy and simple for me and you guys so if you want to watch that video stay tuned it should be coming up uh, either before or after this video I don't really know 
to all be blessed wear your makeup definitely save your money and Nunu will see you in a few days with the next video bye